My name is Blessing Adesiji, a senior developer advocate here at Circle. In this video and the series that follows, you learn about Circle's cross-chain transfer protocol, CCTP. We'll talk about how the technology works and write a few lines of code to show you how it works using the Todd Web SDK template prepared to make it easy for you to integrate CCTP into your application. In this section, we'll review the introduction to CCTP and learn how it works. Developed by Seco, the cross-chain transfer protocol is an open tool on the blockchain that ensures secure transfers of USDC across different blockchain networks. CCTP works by burning native USDC on a source chain and minting native USDC of the same amount on a destination chain. Currently, it only supports Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Avalanche, which plans to support more chains in the future, so this list might get updated. This table shows the chains that CCTP is currently supported on and the plans for future chains. CCTP was designed to address issues such as liquidity fragmentation and poor user experiences that arise from unofficial bridge versions of USDC in the blockchain ecosystem. So the benefits of CCTP are, the first one is cross-chain swaps. One of the key advantages of CCTP is enabling cross-chain swaps. Imagine you have AVAX tokens on the Avalanche blockchain, but you want to get your hands on some Matic tokens on the Polygon network. With CCTP, you can seamlessly swap your AVAX for USDC on Avalanche and then route it to Polygon mainnet for final swap to the Matic tokens. This not only expands liquidity across multiple chains, but also allows you to access the broader range of digital assets available, even if your desired destination currency isn't USDC. The second benefit is leveraging blockchain-specific attributes. CCTP also allows you to leverage blockchain-specific attributes, optimizing your user experience. For example, let's consider ETH on Ethereum mainnet. By utilizing CCTP to bridge ETH on the Ethereum layer 2 rollup, such as Polygon, you can benefit from lower transaction fees while still enjoying the features of USDC. This strategic move enables you to take advantage of cost efficiency without sacrificing the benefits of your digital assets. The third one is solving fragmented liquidity. Fragmented liquidity is a common barrier when transacting across different blockchains. CCTP addresses this issue seamlessly. Imagine you need to send USDC to an address on Avalanche, but your USDC is currently on the Ethereum network. By using CCTP, you can bridge your USDC from Ethereum to Avalanche effortlessly, allowing for hassle-free transactions and liquidity across multiple chains. The cross-chain transfer protocol CCTP operates through a native burn and meet process, facilitated by a trusted attestation service to securely move USDC between different blockchain networks. It does this by following a three-step process of burning, obtaining a signed attestation, and then minting. In the CCTP protocol, two key smart contracts play pivotal roles on the source and destination chain for routing and passing messages. On the left side, we have the source chain token messenger and message transmitter contract, representing the blockchain where the USDC tokens currently reside. On the right side, we have the destination chain token messenger and message transmitter contract, symbolizing the blockchain where the USDC tokens will be minted. In the middle, we have an important character called the attestation service. Think of this attestation service as a trusted facilitator that ensures the seamless transfer of USDC from the source chain to the destination chain. This attestation service is responsible for providing authorization for USDC maintained on the destination chain. To initiate the cross-chain transfer, you would use an app or a platform and specify the recipient wallet address on the destination chain. The app then facilitates the burning of USDC on the source chain. This burning process burns the specified amount of USDC on the source chain and prepares it for transfer. While the burning is happening, our trusted attestation service closely observes and attests to the burn event on the source chain. To ensure the legitimacy of this transfer, the app requests a signed attestation from Seku. This attestation provided by Seku serves as authentication or proof that the burning has occurred and is authorized. Now armed with the signed attestation, the app triggers the maintain process on the destination chain. The attestation is used as authorization to mint the specified amount of USDC on the destination chain. 
Once the minting process is completed, the newly minted USDC is sent to the recipient wallet address residing on the destination chain. Though there are several steps here, when automated, the process only takes a few seconds or minutes in real time. To summarize, the burning of USDC on the source chain, the attestation provided by Seku, and the subsequent minting of USDC on the destination chain together form the core workflow of CCTP. This ensures a secure transfer of USDC across chains while minimizing fragmentation and maintaining a seamless user experience. There you have it. We reviewed what CCTP is, its benefits, and how the technology works. In the next video, we set up our environment in preparation for the code walkthrough. My name is Blessing and thanks for watching.